from the subreddit Unpopular Opinion. If you have to finance something, you can't afford it. Wow this has blown up more than I anticipated. Let me clarify. If you can't afford to buy something outright, you should not finance it. This logic applies to any consumer purchase other than a car loan or a business loan. Using debt as a tool to build credit by making small purchases and paying off the card is a useful tool. In many ways. I'm still going to make you all mad though. Cars shouldn't be financed and should not be purchased new. Always buy used. Update. I just want to say thank you for everyone interacting with this post. I have really enjoyed reading and responding to comments. Definitely learned a ton. Keep in mind I'm not an expert by any means this is my opinion I developed through my financial journey and has made me much better with money. Many people commented on how debt is a tool and I agree that if used properly it can be, personally I found that wasn't always the case. Everyone has their own path and circumstances and I hope it works out well for all of you. One has to factor in opportunity costs though. If I don't finance a house I pay rent instead of a mortgage. If I don't finance a car maybe I can't start my business etc. I think you should change the title to if you need to finance materialistic things and such, you can't afford it. If I have 100k cash, I'm not going to spend 30k on a car unless I finance it. Be smart with your money. OP has a credit score of zero. This has got to be a post by a young person without life experience. If a TV offers 0% interest for 12 months, it can be smart to finance, as you can make the money work elsewhere. There are many scenarios where a person can afford to pay at once in cash, but financing is the smart move. Edit, there are better examples than a TV, but just making a point. Debt can be a tool to even those with more than enough cash to pay on the spot. Alright, Dave Ramsey. LOL Ironically, this is the definition of poor people thinking. I use PayPal's credit 6 months interest free to buy things all the time. Why would I use my own money when I can borrow someone else's for free? And pay it back over 6 months instead of blowing a big chunk of money at once? I've never missed a payment on anything in my entire life so I'm not paying interest ever besides home car payments. You should absolutely finance something that is considered a necessity if you cannot afford the entire payment up front. Both houses and vehicles fall under this category. Cars? We're supposed to buy cars outright? Guess I'm walking to my job 35 miles away. Opportunity cost and inflation will disagree. I much rather finance my house for 30 years at 3%, got lucky few years ago, while real inflation is probably around 15%. I finance my car at 3.15%, the cash I would have spent on the car is earning at the moment like 9.25%. Debt is strategic if done properly. This is just untrue. Things are financed all the time regardless of whether you have the cash to purchase said item or not. Especially if you are offered 0% interest for X months, you should always take that due to the time value of money. This isn't an unpopular opinion, it's just one with limited financial knowledge. Edit, if the debt you take on is less than a market return would likely to be on an investment, usually 7% over the long haul, taking the debt is always the correct financial decision. Like 85% of car purchases are financed. You're basically saying no one can afford to own a car. There are a number of areas in the United States that do not have any type of public transportation, such as rural areas. If those folks can't finance a car then they don't have reliable transportation and they can't work. Your unpopular opinion is just a dumb opinion. So basically unless you have half a million in cash, you shouldn't have a house? Is that what you're telling us? Tell me you're bad with money without telling me you're bad with money. This isn't an unpopular opinion. This is an uneducated opinion. Probably the dumbest thing I've seen posted on here. Why a but why dump 15 grand at once when you can just knock it down over time? That's just a bad decision. 
well then. Here are some things 90% of the population can't afford. Cars, houses, education, business startups, medical care. What a seriously idiotic take. Such a revolutionary opinion. If you have to borrow money to buy something, you actually don't have enough money to pay for it yourself. You can have my up that I guess. Most people can't afford to pay for houses outright. Same for cars, unless they are under like $10,000, and they are a necessity in a lot of places, dot. Yeah for a car I don't just have 15k laying around. Used car market is utterly fucked. Them rente stores are the worst. By the time you pay that $500 TV, you gave them $1,000. I've seen a woman lose her couch, her TV, and her child's bed because everything was financed. I agree, with the exception of a home, transportation, and healthcare. No. Sometimes people finance to get tax breaks. I finance some repairs on my house at 0% as long as I pay off the balance within 18 months. Am I making a bad choice? You are right that lots of people make the mistake because financing something is really easy, but it's more about thinking through your financial choices rather than just paying cash for everything. Damn I guess I really shouldn't have gone to college, and gotten student loans for a comp SCI degree that will pay itself off in like one year maximum. Dang also I shouldn't have gotten financed a car that let me get to my CS job and that I can pay off in like a couple of months maximum. Great advice. So if you can't afford to pay cash for house and need a mortgage you can't afford it? Unless you can pay cash for a car, you can't afford it? And yeah, if you get 0% financing, still can't afford it? Pretty dumb take tbh. Cars shouldn't be financed and should not be purchased new. Always buy used. If no one ever buys new cars, where will the used cars you want everyone to buy come from? Who the hell has an extra $20,000 sitting around for even a used car? OP is 8 and doesn't understand that money now is better than money in the future. Finance everything if you got the means to pay it off. It will only build your credit score. Kid is so dumb he thinks you can get a house of his loan without record of ever borrowing anything. I thought this was unpopular opinions, not stupid time with Timmy. You're right. I'll just get rid of my car since I had to finance it. Oops, looks like I can't get to my job anymore, oh well, at least I'm being fiscally responsible. Oh I forgot I need money to pay rent. Well I guess I'll be homeless but at least I'm being responsible with my money by not financing anything. Some people need to take on debt for a car. Not everyone with kids can have that kind of cash on hand and simply can't afford to haul that precious cargo around in a shit box. Similarly, renting furniture with the option to buy outright later is such a scam. I don't disagree on everything except a house. So no working American should own a house, got it. We should all be slaves to our landlords. Who, by the way, finance the property as well. My first car was on 0% finance over 5 years. There is literally no benefit to paying it off in one go. I financed my new HVAC system. I'm not waiting in a freezing house to be able to pay an 11k lump sum. I had to take the financing to keep my family warm. This is an incredibly bad take that you dispute yourself in your own post. Definitely belongs here. No. I just paid off my laptop, it was something like $105 a month for a year at 0%. It's the same amount of money leaving my account either way. I could have paid for it all up front, but this left more liquidity in my assets. Laughs in inflation rate higher than interest rate. I smell privilege through my screen. This is actually a bad opinion. Mortgages would like a word. Yeah, just be a rich kid who doesn't need to mortgage. I mean, isn't that the entire reason you're financing it in most cases? Because you can't afford it lol. You're delusional about never financing anything even including cars, what a privileged loon. 
Unpopular opinion, people who don't understand finance shouldn't be making takes like this.